Hello guys, in today's video we are going to see how to use Prisma to perform create, read, update and delete operations on a MySQL database using Node.js and TypeScript. So let's see what exactly is Prisma and how to use it. Here is the official website of uh, Prisma, it is prisma.io. So what is Prisma? Prisma is a tool that helps us uh, communicate uh, with our database directly from Node.js. So it is an ORM, that means Object Relational Mapping uh, tool that can communicate with PostgreSQL, MySQL, SQL Server and many others, as well as MongoDB, which is not uh, a relational database. So uh, what we have to do? Uh, now we're going to quick start here and uh, start from scratch, relational database, and we'll select TypeScript and MySQL, as we are talking about MySQL in this tutorial. So uh, we have to create a, a project that I already created. It is just a blank, uh, blank or actually empty folder here without anything. And now I'm going back here and we are going to init npm what is command, so open our terminal, paste the command and enter. Okay, it is anything uh, package JSON and uh, just saying yes to all of these. So this is what we have right now. After doing that, we are going to install Prisma, TypeScript and uh, TS node with types for node and saving that for development. So paste the command here, hit enter, and wait for it to install everything there. So we're going to see updates here in our package.json file. Okay, here they are. So after doing that, we have to go back to the website and we have to uh, init Prisma in our project. So we can do this uh, by using npx. So and picks Prisma in it, and it is going to create a folder inside our root uh, folder here of our project, and add schema and environment file as well as git ignore file. So, what we have to do is to connect to our database, but first we have to uh, see uh, where is our database actually, and to do some setup here, as we are going to use MySQL. Uh, I'm opening this mysql.com website and okay, accept. Uh, going to developer zone, uh, mysql downloads, and here uh, mysql community server. So uh, you're going to uh, choose your operating system and the OS version, as I'm using Mac OS here. I'm using this x86 64 bits and we have four uh, files here available. So I'm going to download this DMG archive uh, and to run install after that. So as I already downloaded and set up these, uh, uh, this server, uh, I won't download it now, but uh, you just have to follow and click next, next, next. So after doing that, uh, what I suggest and what I'm going to use, uh, which tool here uh, for uh, getting the data from the database, actually to see what is going on in the database. So this is uh, this management tool. Uh, it is MySQL Workbench. You can use whatever you want. So you can use uh, uh, MAMP or XAMPP or any software there with a database already. If you have a database set up, you can skip this step, but uh, you can download uh, this software also is available for all platforms and run it and install. So now I'm going, uh, I'm opening this uh, software, my MySQL uh, workbench. Uh, I've created some here, some, some interface here. So uh, you're going to do that by clicking here, connection to database plus and add, add some of your parameters. So it is basically this. After doing that, open here and you'll see on the left side uh, schemas that are actually uh, databases here. So uh, we have to uh, create a schema or a database and we're going to call it, uh, let's say the database is going to be about YouTube channels. 
YouTube. Well, let's say YouTube. Okay, apply. And we'll get this here and just hit apply and it is created. So we can see YouTube database here. After doing that, uh, we have to do some uh, setup. Just let me see where's the administration. Okay, users and privileges. And I have created this Prisma test, but uh, we can go again to create it again. So it could be your root user or whatever else. So I just, for the sake of uh, simplicity for this tutorial, I'm just going to create another uh, another user here, actually. So the user is going to be, let's say, Prisma test or just Prisma. Authentication standard, and it is going to match local host here. And we have to add some kind, some password here. Uh, let's say that uh, I'll just copy some of passwords I generated online. Oops, here, and uh, it can be like this one. Hold on a sec. Okay, I'm going back to MySQL, pasting my password, confirm, and click apply. After doing that. You have to add uh, administrative roles uh, to this account. So this account has a database admin roles and it can access our schema or database, which is YouTube. So you have to add this. Hit OK, apply, and wait for it. So it is done actually. Okay, that's it. So this is this is what you have to do from this side. You can uh, click here to see server status, and you're seeing uh, that uh, it, the server is running, and it is running on port three thousand three hundred six. So we are going to use that port as well. So now open our Visual Studio Code and this environment file that uh, our Prisma generated for us. So this is going to be a type of you. Uh, connection actually a database we are using so we are going to uh, rewrite this one and we are going just to uh, type mysql now we have to add a user so this is going to be our uh, prisma user on that database and the password we added for our user and a host here and that uh, port that i just show you uh, 3306 and now we have just to add a database here so name of our database which is YouTube okay hit save and now we are going to schema.prisma file here uh, here we have to set up this provider to be mysql and it is going to get the parameters from this URL from our environment file. So from this step, we are going to create our database here in this uh, Prisma model. Okay. Now I'm going to add a table to our uh, Prisma uh, database, that, to our actually uh, MySQL database, which is named uh, YouTube. So uh, type model. And let's say uh, we want a table that is that name has a name YouTube channels and open brackets. Let's say that we want to have an ID, which is integer type. We just int uh, at ID and the default is going to be auto increment. Auto increment. Okay, and now we're going to add some other uh, fields that are like uh, name of our YouTube channel, string, let's say 255, and we have to add this that is unique. So we don't want to have a duplicate uh, YouTube channel names in our database. So this is just unique and that's it. Okay. 
another thing that we have uh, to use is maybe to add a description of the channel that is also string and uh, let's see a link string as well and a number of subscribers subscribers integer and we'll say that default is zero zero so when we start channel we have zero subscribers here after doing that what i like to do and to add to every single table that we have uh, when we add somebody or something to our database i want to know uh, the date and time when it's created and also when something is updated there so i, I just want to know where's the when is the updated uh, something so we'll add created at date time date time and the uh, default is going to be now so that means that uh, I just have to add at at default is now so it's going to happen at the moment of creating and updated also the time type and uh, out, we'll just add auto updated. Actually, updated. That's sorry. So, this is going to be our database here. Uh, before we go to the next step, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to show you some extension here for Prisma that is going to be really helpful to you. So this is uh, Prisma, this one here, and that uh, the extension adds uh, syntax highlighting, formatting, auto completion, and everything that you need, just like linting for .prisma files. So it's going to be easier for you to use uh, it in these files to get the things you need. So this is the extension, install it and use it, if you like, of course. Okay, the next step after doing this connection and creating our model that is going to create our database is the following step. We have to type a command here, npx prisma migrate development and the name of this migration is going to be, let's say, YouTube. YouTube channels table in it. Okay, so this command is going to uh, migrate our database and sync it with our database up. And let's see the result of this function. Okay, uh, it says that uh, we have an issue in our uh, environment file. Let's see what is going on here. So, uh, Okay, database URL, MySQL, user Prisma, our password at localhost. Okay, YouTube. So seems okay. Just to check Prisma. Provider password. Uh -huh. I haven't saved this file. So that's, that's, the, that's the issue. So don't try this if you haven't saved the file. Okay, running the same command again. Okay, and it is now in sync with our schema here or database. So uh, we get a new folder here with migrations here. So uh, we're able to see actually uh, SQL query here and what are we adding there. Okay, and now I'm going to open this, uh, this MySQL workbench just to check our database there. Hit reload here. Okay. YouTube tables and see YouTube channels and click this button here to execute the command. Okay. We can see ID, name, description, link, subscribers created and updated at. So uh, our table is basically set up right now. You can see the columns here as well. Okay. Now I'm going back to uh, Visual Studio Code. 
Now, after doing this setup with a, with a schema and a database, I'm going to create a new folder. New folder is going to be source. And into that folder, I'm going to add a new file. It's going to be create.ts. So this is for the demonstrating purposes and to show you how to use uh, these commands from uh, Prisma to communicate. So as well, you're not going to use it just like this, but this is uh, to be easier for you. I'm going to add uh, create, update, read, and uh, delete uh, TypeScript files here. Uh, so you're, you'll have everything separated to check again later when you want to see it. So create, what do you have to do right now here? Uh, first of all, we have to import a uh, Prisma client that we installed previously. So import, let's see, Prisma client. So this is this one here from at Prisma slash client. So this is the first step we have to do. After that important step, const Prisma equals new uh, Prisma client. So new Prisma client, and that's it. And now uh, I'm going to create a function, async function main. And that function is going to have a try catch block with a finally. Okay, in this, uh, you can uh, you can use this as, as is for testing purposes, but you can create uh, in your uh, API uh, different functions here without just running them uh, on, on file so it, it would be called uh, as a purpose by purpose so I'm just going to uh, call this function here main and that's it okay the first I'll add try catch block Okay, and finally. Okay. Right now here, what am I going to do right now? Uh, I, in this try block, I'm going to uh, create a constant with the name res, which means response. And now as the function is async, I'm going to say await as we want to await uh, for Prisma to complete a, a call to our database, Prisma dot uh, YouTube channels. As you can see, I have this auto completion here, YouTube channels, and it says, let's say create many. We want to add a lot of uh, channels by a bulk uh, create method. So I'll add an object here and this uh, object will have a data that is an array of uh, objects. So I could add it like this to be more readable. Okay, uh, I'll add another thing to this project. You can do this, you don't have to, it depends on you uh, what you use. As I'm using prettier code formatter here, I'm going to add a new file here dot uh, okay this is the prettier uh, file and it's just an object uh, with some data here so I'm just going to add the trailing comma es5 okay I'm going to add a single quote this is true. I want everything uh, everything in my JS files to be in, in, within a single quotes instead of double quotes. And uh, I'm going to add print width, uh, which is going to be 200. So uh, that's that I want to see uh, 200 uh, wide, uh, width of, uh, of my code. And finally, a tab width. Tab width of two. So it, uh, when I hit tab, it, it means that it is going to be intended uh, by uh, by two spaces. Okay, hit save, and when I go here and click uh, hit Option Shift and F, it is going to 
format my code to look as it should be. It should be. Okay, here I'm going to create in the, in this uh, table, our YouTube table, actually, a new channel. So we have a name, and you can see that we, we can get it here in our TypeScript. It knows the data, uh, Prisma knows the data we have in our YouTube channels. Actually, it knows the fields we have. So we have this auto completion, which is going to help us a lot. Name, and let's say that name is going to be admin. Okay, this is going to be my channel. And I'll add description. So let's see here, description. Description is going to be, let's say software. Things. Okay, software development things. And uh, we have, um, let's say that we have uh, their subscribers. Subscribers, it is integer. I'll say 540 and we have a link to our YouTube channel. So it's going to be HTTPS and uh, YouTube, www, uh, YouTube slash C slash Okay, so this is uh, this is our first entry here. So what I what I want to do right now here, I would like to have a, a few of them as we are going to create many here, but I would like to get something uh, that is wrong here to show additional option uh, from uh, Prisma. So I would like to add many of these, but they are the same actually. So to do this, I'm just going to go here, add a comma here, and hold shift, option, and down. Okay, I'll duplicate this four times. And after this data, as this is, everything is the same, after this data, we have to say, uh, to add a new key, uh, which is, uh, let's see, how was it? Uh, skip duplicates, it should be. Okay, skip duplicates. I'll say true. Okay. Now it should uh, add uh, add this data to our database, but skip duplicate files. So we'll just get one of these four. Uh, to check this, I have to call this first. So the reason why I put it like this is because uh, uh, usually what you would do you would do in your uh, API is you'll create this uh, response file. And after doing this, you are going to maybe validate the response. And uh, after that, returning that response uh, with 200 uh, code and getting the data from the database uh, formatted for uh, your API client, uh, client there. So this is the way I use it. Also, what you could do, uh, you could think about this. Let's say that we want to have const data here. Uh, which is actually our uh, body from our request request body from our client, API client. So uh, we have these JSONs here in this array, and we have to add uh, data, and the data is going to be the data uh, here. So as the, the, we have the same name, I don't have to add twice data uh, data like this. So it knows that it is oh, we mean this data here. Okay, after doing that, uh, I'm going to console log this as we haven't called it yet and uh, you can see that it's declared but never used. So I'm just going to log this response. Response. Okay, and also I'm going to uh, console log here error if we get it. And finally, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, call async here to uh, to do something to await Oops. okay to disconnect from the database. Okay, 
this is it so uh we are now going to uh call this hit save and now doing this command ts node uh, source as we are we are running running this command from our root folder so ts node source path to our uh, create file so we don't have to add dot ts as it is typescript hit enter and wait for it okay it says count one why because uh, we added this keep duplicates here and it is just it just added one single item here so these two are uh, th three are skipped uh, to prove this we can go to our mysql uh, workbench hit this again and get this one here so we have id one name description and everything and we just see one entry here so this is it now i'll add three four so i'll add another uh, I'll change the names and how how does it know uh, how, how the script uh, this uh, Prisma knows uh, that this is uh, that everything is uh, uh, the same here to actually how to know the script du duplicates uh, if you remember we when we created uh, this YouTube channels table here we added this key here unique so uh, it is looking at this field here or any others you add so it cannot be uh, twice the same in our database so i'll just change this and also what i'm going to use, do i'll add these uh, change these numbers which we are going to use in the next steps okay create many data as we already have this one it is going to skip it but it will add three of these again so hit the same command enter and it says count three and it added additional three here so go back to our mysql workbench here just uh, hit this here and we can see uh four of them here take a look at these uh prisma added uh, ids for these that not uh, have not passed but uh, it doesn't matter so you just have four items here with the different uh, names and the different numbers of subscribers okay so this is uh, something uh, when you want to create many here but what if you want to create just a single item the, that you have a, an API that creates a single per a channel per time, so not bulk. Uh, what we can do? We can use this one here. I'll just copy this and create, let's say, user or channel equals this object here. And now, uh, instead of create many, I'm just going to say create. And in this step here, we don't need this and the data is going to be here channel okay and now this is going to be our fifth channel here and i'll add it number five here so and also i'll add increased number of subscribers let's say 601 save and now the same command again create okay and now we can see a log of this one when we are uh, adding just single one we can see uh, actual response here so it's id 9 and we see when it's created and updated that so it's the same right now okay now after doing this we can again check it in our My mysql workbench we can hit this here and so we see number five here now going back and says okay this is it for creating for this tutorial now we're going to add a new one it is going to be read read.ts so in this one uh, we're going to uh, copy from this one here this here okay read just copy them 
Okay, I can copy this sketch and finally block. Also the main. Okay, this is it. So uh, we are ready to start with the read method here. So to, you, to do this, well, we just have to add here in this try block, let's say const response again, await again. So almost the same as in previous one, our YouTube channels and find, let's say find many to see something. Okay, when we call this one, uh, we're just getting everything from our database. So to prove that, we are going to say console log race. So we have this response here, and that's it. To run it, go to a TS node source, and let's say read. Okay, now we see everything from our database here. So array of objects. So this could be a, a method when you want to get all data from the database. So it's going to be like this. Now, if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, filter data, you could add uh, some query here. Instead of just find many, you could add an object and say, okay, where? Let's say, uh, let's say number of subscribers is greater than or equal, let's say 600, as we want, we, we have just one item that is over 600. Uh, hit save and run this command again. So we are going, uh, we are getting just this one with 600. Uh, also, what could we do is to, to add 517 here to get the latest two that we have here. Okay. And now we have these two. It has 517 and 601. So this, uh, this means a greater or equal. To get just greater, you just add gt here, run command again, and we'll get, just get uh, a one result here. So this is it. So this is uh, when you want to get uh, uh, something from, uh, from from the database, the data. You can uh, you can uh, you can get exact or any others. So I'm going to show you the reference for Prisma. So here, uh, Prisma references. Uh, API reference and here uh, filter conditions and operations or relations filters just let me let me see uh, filter conditions and operations should be here okay and now you can see all the conditions that you can use to get the data from the database so there's a lot you can see it where, where where something is not that so let's say a re reverse the search okay this is it for read and now we are going to update the data new file update the ts and now in it we're going to do something like this create let's say that we are i'll copy this create here and paste it into the update here so uh, to update the data uh, I'll just keep one user here, let's say one channel, I'll remove this, and I'll see a Prisma YouTube channels, update, update, and now uh, when you're doing update, uh, you could uh, do update many, and to update uh, all, all fields where you find something, let's try this, update many, and data is, uh, let's see, uh, where, okay, where, and let's see, uh, number of subscribers, 
subscribers is lower that 515 add data now we are going to add data here so i'm going here to add uh to add a number of subscribers let's say to 1000 data and we are adding to this single item here uh, let's say we just want to add number of subscribers subscribers and we said 1000 so wherever it finds in our database or in our YouTube channels table actually uh, subscribers that have uh, lower their 515 subscribers it will add a uh, thousand subscribers to them so it will not add it will just replace their number of subscribers to 1000 so it is not going to be 1515 so uh, here I'll just change because we just have one well, let's say that it's 17 so there are two two examples of this as we have here okay we have uh, two, uh, uh, 516 515 and 500 514 sorry so these two are three are getting the number of 1000 subscribers so to do this uh, just run our command and say update so we are just running our file there uh, one note here uh, that I forgot to mention a TS node uh, for some users, uh, if it's not running at first, you should uh, uh, install it globally on your machine and you'll be able to run it there. Let's see. We hit update. And so this is it. And we have to go to our MySQL workbench here. Okay. So let's see something is something is wrong here mm -hmm. this response await prisma youtube channels update many where subscribers is lower than 517 Add data subscribers. Hmm, where is it? Why is this? Let's see, why is this command not running properly? Count for. You know what, what happened? Okay, uh, we see uh, count for here. So it means that it updated four items here. So uh, let's check this okay we can see first for that and they have uh, 1000 subscribers so I just had some issue with this uh, with this query here so it doesn't matter okay you could use number of subscribe subscribers or any other query here to find it so th this is this is for update many but what if we want just update one we just have to add update and uh, we can find this here let's see where subscribers is okay let's say like this you want to update where id is let's say nine okay we want to update a uh, uh, user with id nine that is basically something you're you, you'll use a lot of time or doing the operations for ID for some IDs so okay uh, user ID 9 uh, we are going to add let's say name and the name is going to be new channel name and also we could add a number of subscribers subscribers and the subscribers is going to be let's say 2000 okay save and again update 
and now we are getting the data here because we're just uh, updating a single item in our single row in our table youtube channels table so take a look at this uh, when we are doing with the single uh, items operations uh, we are getting uh, this uh, log here in response just as we are getting it here so we see new channel name number of subscribers and that's it so there's a lot of possibilities and options here to do this and then to update or to do whatever you want with your data so this is the basic options uh, just to clarify how to use this uh, prisma with your uh, uh, with your uh, node js and typescript and finally we are going to create a delete method here okay delete the ts and now we are just going to delete some of these some of these uh, rows in our table so i'm going to uh, copy uh, from the update i'm just copying import and this async function actually i'll copy everything and just delete what we don't need there so uh i didn't use it in the latest one so okay our await prisma youtube channels and we'll say delete so you could use bulk delete you could use uh, just delete for a single and i'll say where id is nine and we don't need this uh, data here. So uh, I'm just going to uh, delete item with uh, with uh, ID nine. So this is the one with 2000 subscribers. So going here and delete, hit enter. And operation is performed, uh, performed. And we can see here the channel we deleted. And now when we uh, hit our, this read, let's see the read, do we have it? Now okay, here read, and we see everything here, but the channel with uh, ID nine. So to prove this, we can go here, hit this button and see that there is no ID nine at all here. So. Uh, this is basically it uh, we have created in this tutorial CRUD operations and you can see how Prisma client works actually and how it is easy to do uh, operations uh, with the MySQL database with this uh, client. So uh, thank you for watching this video and I'm, I hope that uh, this video is helpful for you and if you find it helpful please uh, do like or, or share this uh, with your friends or subscribe my to my channel to get more of these videos thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye